Hello there, uh, Father. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir, my investigation led me back to Scalis, and I happened across a criminal there. I just wanted to report to you, sir, that I dealt with that murderer. He attacked me and, well, I got the better of him. He won't be doing any more harm to anyone. That was a brave deed, Henry. Thank you. I see you've been doing an excellent job in my service. I sent a patrol there some time ago, and they never returned. Hmm. So. Father, can I ask you about something? Of course, Henry. I thought since we drove Toth out of the province, things would be better. I mean that the roads would be safer and so on, and, um... Well, that's not entirely the case. Ah, the naivety of youth. Driving him out of the province was only the start. He left a lot of cutthroats behind, and they'll be sticking to their trade. And what's more, mm. as long as there's a war going on, problems like this will keep coming up. Well, what can we do about it? Not an awful lot, unfortunately. My garrison is a shamble these days. I lost most of my men in Scalitz, and what I'm left with after Privislavitz is hardly enough even to guard Pigstein. Let alone guarding the roads and patrolling the rest of the province. I simply don't have the men. Uh-huh. Hmm. I understand. That is, I didn't have the men. As it happens, you've come at just the right time. Recently, oh. I asked an old acquaintance for help. Sir Kuno of Rickwald and his mercenary band. The men who ride with him are a rough lot, mostly former convicts, but they're as capable as any squad of soldiers. Well, excuse me for being so bold, but there's plenty of mercenaries around. Surely you can find a more... respectable band? You have a point, lad, but I'd like to tell you I talked to Kuno because I trust him. But actually my reasons are of a more pragmatic nature. You see, Kuno owes me a favor, so he'll serve me free of charge. So, hmm, you want me to join them? Yes, but that's not all. I told Kuno I'd send him a guide. But really what I need is for someone to keep a close eye on him and his men. Someone reliable. And I'd say you fit the part. Go and report to him at his encampment. You'll ride with his band on patrols and make sure they don't get too... disorderly. Right, um... Who is this Sir Kuno of Rickwald? He's the last baron of the House of Rickwald, which became impoverished. So he took to the mercenary trade, like many poor noblemen do. Unless they become robbers. Which often isn't all that different. He's certainly an entertaining companion, but as a mercenary? Well, let's just say he has his own particular approach to certain matters. Well, sounds a little worrying. Oh, it's nothing too bad. Just that now and again he needs reminding not to step over the line. Right. How is he indebted to you? I did him quite a big service, actually. I saved him from the hangman. Oh, hmm. Sounds like quite a story. How did it happen? You should ask him. You'll be spending quite a while riding together, so it'll help pass the time. But one thing I can tell you, he Go seems on. to have taken inspiration from me. A lot of his men had their own encounters with the Executioner, too. I see. All right. I'll go and report to him. Excellent. He set up camp between Ratai and Ladechko. It's a good base for covering the province. Good luck, Henry. Mm. And watch out for yourself. I will, sir. Thanks. Take care. All right, then. Farewell. I'll be with you. Uh, I'm looking for Sukuno. Sukuno? Uh, Baron Rickvold. Isn't this his camp? You won't get nothing out of him. What? You must be Rad Zig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, sir. So yeah. Sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the Stone. Oh, I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue. No. More like the dog got it. The executioner's dog. 
when the executioner ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. I'll introduce you to the other fellas and the chief. All right. These here are the Bearman brothers, Petter and Jan. Mm. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words together. Like now. Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. Okay. Your acquaintance, I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan. You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance. And you, Dangler, stand your ground. Don't let him lead you round by the nose. Sir? Well, sir, this is Henry. From Co... From Lord Cobola. Ah, oh, it's about time Rads had got round to this. We need someone who knows their way around these parts. We leave off with the, uh, bowing and curtsy, and we don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey! Where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. But I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. Get your ass moving. Snot nose brat. You pull them out of a pile of shit. And they think you would back talk. Where were we? Oh yeah. We need a guide who knows these parts. So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. That's Henry. Right. As I said to Radzig. I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. They still ended up on the wrong end of one. We'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler, let's find out what Harold here can do. Sure. No problem, Chief. All right then. I'll show you that I've got what it takes. No problem. Dopsy. Badly at all, I must say. You can ride with us. Oh, right. good. Thanks. Okay. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. <laughs> I, I wasn't done, but okay. Sir Kuno, can you tell me something about yourself? Drop the sir. That title brought me nothing but grief. But what do you want to know? Sir Radzig told me the Rickvold family uh, lost its wealth. How did that happen? There's all sorts of ways to become impoverished. Nothing easier. Especially when your father's a fool. And your mother's mad as a bat. Oh. Right. But it's a long and twisted story. We took our name from Rickvold Castle. But that actually belonged to the convent of the poor Clares in Tynitz. And my father only leased it. You see, he knew the abbess there since they were young. Knew her very well. Right. There was even talk that she only joined the order because her family wouldn't let her marry him. Anyway, mm. whether he was fucking her right there in the convent 
or he just took a lot of interest in scripture. He spent an awful lot of time in Tynes. Hmm. Oh, you might have been after a bit of both. Sinning and confessing all in one place. Well, I can see the convenience of it. Anyway, exactly. my mother never had strong nerves. Truth be told, her sanity was always shaky. Pa's escapades drove her cuckoo entirely. Then, one frosty December morning, I was woken by screaming and smoke. I looked out the window. I saw my mother there in the courtyard, wreathed in flames. Behind her, the stables, the farm buildings, and the tower were burning too. And she just stood there, shrieking with laughter. Christ, hmm, sounds like a scene straight that out. That story, of hellish it was. Story Tuck sounds familiar. Me and my sister Adela and a few servants managed to get out before the whole place went up. I couldn't get to my father or my little brother. Well, that was only seven. My sister and I were left destitute after the fire. Then my cousin, Adam of Drevich, took us into his castle. A few weeks later, he offered to buy what was left of our estates and sell me a small fortress near a Kovnik. It was a great relief. We suddenly had some hope of a future again. So I told my sister about it. And it was the biggest mistake of my life. A week later, the two of them announced to me they were getting married. And all that was left of our estates, lands, woods, villages, Adela was to get it all as a dowry. But surely oh. that was for you to decide. You were the head of the family, right? Aye. Only I barely had 17 years under my belt, and I'd just lost everything. Of course, I argued with them, and that was the only excuse they needed to kick me out of Drevich too. <sighs> That's pretty harsh. You're telling me. But I'm not complaining. As my pa always used to say, if you could turn your hand to something, you'd never be lost. I doubt it ever crossed his mind how often I'd remember those words. Mm. What about your debt to Sir Radzik? How did that come about? A twist of fate, lad. I was fighting in the hostilities between the house of Schallenberg and the town of Colleen. Some trade dispute it was. And I fought under the Schallenberg colors. In the end, the two sides negotiated a truce, and I rode to Colleen with the delegation that was to parlay there. We stopped off at an inn on the way, and it was there that I met Radzig Kobila. I could tell at first sight he was a man after my own heart. A likeable rogue, with a sharp mind and a merry soul. We spent the whole night drinking together and talking, and in the morning we set off together with sore heads, but in good temper. Since he was traveling the Colleen, same as I was. Only, once we reached the city gates, they arrested me on the spot. <laughs> Seems the burghers had it in for me. Hmm. Since I'd been making their lives hell for a good six months. On the other hand, I was a member of the peace delegation. So, by rights, they shouldn't have even looked at me sideways. And then it hit me why Radzid was there. Colleen is a royal city. So he was there to represent the king's interests. I see. So he was on the other side. That's right. Anyway, they threw me in a dungeon, and a few days later, word reached me that the Schallenbergs had reached an agreement with the Burgers. Only part of the deal was they would give them my head. And I'd surely have ended my day swinging from the town battlements if it hadn't been for Radzi. He liked me, and he could see it was a dirty trick. So he somehow squared things with the city council. Lucky for you. Hmm. Indeed. I owe my life to Radzik, and I'll never forget it. He's asked me twice before for help. This is the third time. And how could I refuse him? I'd like to ask about your men. Ask away. What about Jakey? Jakey? That boy will be the death of me. You've got to be tough on him, or he's good for nothing. But I'm fond of him, in a way. Like her son? I wouldn't go that far. But I've no family of my own. And unlike those other cutthroats, he seems to me like... Like a good lad. Yeah, you're pretty hard on him, though. Hmm. And the others keep him on his toes, too. The boy needs a firm hand. 
I was like him once, and I got the same too. If we let him be, we'd end up with a third bear man. And who'd want that? <laughs> True. Two is more than enough. Those Bearman brothers are quite a pair. Indeed they are. There's no more mercy in them than in... Well, a bear. Right. If I told them to skewer you on the spot, they'd do it without batting an eyelid. Jesus. Mm. Oh, I. They'd argue first about which one of them got to do the job. But they're as obedient as a huntsman's dogs. Real soldiers. A pair of them. Reliable. As long as they don't get too drunk, then there's no keeping them under control. But nobody's perfect. Fair enough. What about that dumb one? How did he end up with you? The stone? Oh, he just kind of tagged along. Just like that? Aye, just like that. We were riding from Olomots to a castle past Kladsko when we ran into him and some other wayfarers camping along the way. You know how it goes. We made acquaintance with them, had a drink or two, then we travelled on together. After all, there's safety in numbers. I'm not sure I'd be thinking that if I ran into you lot on the road. We might have done some things I ain't proud of, but Wayfarers are sacred even for me. Anyway, our fellow travellers dropped off along the way. One in Mohelnitz, one in Schoenberg, and the rest in Kladsko. Except for the stone. He stuck with us the whole way. Fellas kept asking him what he was after. Of course, he never said a word. When we were approaching Barsdorf, I ordered the men to get rid of him. I had some business at the castle, and I didn't want any strangers sticking their noses in. Stefan tried to tell him nicely. We just sat there, staring like he was turned to stone. That's when we gave him the name. Then the bear nice. brothers tried to get him off his horse. He booted Jan in the face and knocked him out cold. Then he jumped down and fell Petter with one punch. Oh, a man who can do that is a man you want on your side. So we kept him. Weren't you worried about having a stranger in your band? Especially one who didn't talk. No, I figured if he can't talk, he can't tell. Besides, I've had worse. Okay, who says so? What about the fellow they call Danglo? I've never ridden with a better man, I can tell you. He doesn't say a lot, but for that, he listens all the better. Nothing escapes him. So he scouts for you? Not just that. It's happened more than once. I was closing a deal with someone, and Dangler told me after that he didn't like the smell of the fella. Nearly every time he was right. And the fellow tried to stab me in the back afterwards. Hmm. That's so very nice. What can you tell me about Stefan? Fletching. For one thing, he's a very resourceful fellow. How did he come to join your band? Well, let's just say he was in the right place at the right time. You'll find he has quite a knack for that. Well, what exactly happened? Sorry, I'd love to tell you the whole story, but I'd be betraying his trust. Well, now you've got me curious. Maybe I should ask him myself. Sure, why not? Our Fletch does love to converse. All right. Then. Um. Should we ride out? No point in going out now. It'll soon be dark. Come back at first light, and we'll get going. All right. Oh. You can sleep here in the camp if you want. There's room enough, and you ought to get better acquainted with the fellas. Yeah. Maybe I should. Greetings. Can you tell me something about yourself? What do you want to know? Why do they call you Dangler? Because Kuno found me dangling on the end of a rope. Ah. Oh. I see. So, um, he saved you from execution? I wouldn't call it an execution exactly. At the time I was squire to the Lord of Buzitz, there was a proper night for you. Full of ideals and honor. I looked up to him as a hero. Then in one skirmish he was killed, and the foe took me captive. They stood me on a shaky wooden cross with my hands tied behind my back and a noose around my neck. For amusement. Then they rode off laughing. But how long were you stuck there? I couldn't tell you. Hours. Maybe days. 
In the end, everything started going black. I could feel the devil pulling me down by the legs. Jesus. Mm. How on earth did you survive? I didn't. When Kuno found me, he says I was dead as a doornail. They cut me down, took the rope off me. Then someone gave me a kick and I coughed and came back to life. Sort of. Okay, then. Well. Thanks for that. I'll uh, leave it to it. Mm. A wooden human shield. Interesting. Hmm? Who said that? Stefan, can you tell me something about yourself? <laughs> what is it you want to know, youngster? Well? I'm curious how you ended up in Kuno's band. You noticed I don't exactly fit in with this pack of felons and reprobates, huh? Unfortunately, you can't always choose your company, can you? <laughs> no, I suppose not. I guess not. not. But how did you come to be with them? Oh, well, I'd love to tell you, but Kuno insisted we keep that between the two of us. And I'm not one to break a confidence. Oh. But... Well, Kuno said it was you who wanted to keep it secret. Really? <laughs> Are you sure about that? You must have misunderstood him. No, I don't think so. At least... Oh, never mind. So, where did you live before? What did you do? I used to live in a town before. Back there I was doing something very different. Although... Now I think of it... Maybe it wasn't that different in a way. If you know what I mean. Actually, I haven't the faintest nope. idea what you mean. I have no idea. You don't give anything away, do you? Me? <laughs> I'm an open book lad. Ask me anything you like and I'll give you an honest answer. Go on! Uh, maybe another time. My head's starting to spin. As you wish. Shame, though. There's nothing I enjoy more than conversing. If you say so. Fancy throwing a few dice? Fancy throwing a few dice? Let's make this more interesting, shall we? May the best man win. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. I don't believe it. Four sixes. All right. Gosh, why did I even stop? Can't be that. Okay. Well, four threes ought to do it, I guess. Sure. This will be the one. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we got here. What is that? Oh, that's a three. I thought that was a one. Never mind. Use your head. You lose everything. Roll again. Here we go. Got a good, got a good feeling about this. Oh, well, that's gonna have to do for now. No point in pushing. Ooh, well, 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 looky here. I don't believe my luck. Four snake eyes. All right, I'll take it. But time it went my way. You sure about that? We'll see. Finished. Yeah, you're about to be. Ooh. 
So alright, alright. Looks like you might have some skin in the game after all. Better not. Be the better not waste this opportunity. Make the most of it. That's it. Come on, what are you doing, man? You had a couple of fives there. Where are you? <sighs> Don't. You're gonna make the same mistake as I did. Or not? Mm. Don't. What are you doing? Should have quit. Should have stopped while you were ahead. Should have quit. Wait, see? Now I got four snake eyes again. Sorry, bub. Shit. This game is mine. Better luck next time. Uh, someone else I didn't talk to. They all go back to bed? Or something? Or well, one of them one of them did. Where's the rest? Uh, why you Come on, is it really night already? Still a couple hours left at least. Alright. Whatever. Ordinary bow. Quittenberg curious. Red and blue checkered hood. Ash hunting bow. Raven's beak. Bowman's brew. Bat Padfoot. Yeah, just take all, I guess. Hmm. That's the Kun the Kunberg special, eh? Okay. Well never mind. What's that? You alright? Nothing to see here. Who said that? Who was speaking just then? Is there anyone who isn't asleep right now? Alright. Fine. I got the message. I'm gonna go to bed now. Thanks a bunch. Uh... Oh. Is this my bed? I guess so. Well. Could have been worse, I guess. Let's try sleeping until the morning. And by morning, I mean all the way until... 8 a.m. There we go. Just a little bit past 8. I mean, basically 8. Maybe like... One past eight, something like that. Pretty close to it, though. Uh, should be enough time for everyone to wake up again. Start the day. Greetings. Tell me something about yourself. What do you want to know? How did you and Jan end up with Kuno? Me and my brother been riding with coin men since we was little. This was just another mercenary band for us. But Kuno seemed like a decent kind of fellow who'd treat us fair. 
All right. Fair enough, I guess. Um. All right. Can you tell me something about yourself, Jan? Why not? I haven't been to confession for a while. <laughs> mm. You and Petter seem very close. As brothers should be, lad. Well, to tell the truth, Fair I enough. never have guessed the two of you came from the same mother. Oh, we've got the same ma, all right. I ain't got no ma, and neither does he. <laughs> and the same goes for our pa. It's probably Satan himself. Oh. Oh. I'm a bit confused. You're not actually brothers. We might be. But we might not. A band of mercenaries found us in a village when I was still a baby. And better, hardly walking. Playing in the dirt together, we was. Their leader took a shine to us for some reason. He took us away and raised us up. Raised us with swords for playthings and ale for mother's milk. A few years later, he was killed in Saxony. The band fell apart, but we joined another right away. That's the way it's been ever since, over and over. So you two never had... Well, um... A normal life. We ride from one fight to another, risking our necks and killing who they pay us to kill. That's normal for us. Always has been. I see. How did you end up in Kuno's band? Ah, it's nothing new for me and my brother. We've been fighting for coins since we were old enough to carry swords. Last time we rode with one Lombardian by the name of Collini. All over Bavaria, Austria and that. What happened? Did you fall out? Nah. We just wanted to come back to Bohemia. You know how it is. When no one understands a word you say, it ain't worth a damn. Fair enough. Good talking to you then. Who else have we have we not talked to? Um What is it, Jakey? The stone wants to talk with you. If you can call it that. Probably about that ring. What ring? Ring. Ah, no one told you about it. The fellas call it the Ring of Bakrus. It's a kind of game we play. Kuno gave us this right. ring. It's just a worthless bauble. But when we're at the tavern, Kuno pays everything for the man who has the ring. So we steal the ring from each other and try to trick each other. Well, actually, just the others. They won't let me play. Kuno says I'm too young to get boozed up. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm. But I don't have the ring, so why does the stone want to see me? He probably wants you to steal it from someone. Since you're new, the fellows will talk to you, and it won't be suspicious. All right. Mm. I'll have a word with him. Hey, Jakey, can you tell me something about yourself? Want to get matey, eh? Sure, Henry. What do you want to know? How did you end up in Kuno's band? Well, I used to be a baker's hand in Prague, but all the other fellows were always on my back, always swearing at me. Sometimes they even beat me up, took everything I had. To make a mm. bit of coin, I started going to the tavern across the road, entertaining the rich gents with jokes, playing the fool. Sometimes someone would throw me a half groschen. One time, Kuno turned up there, and I got to talking with him. When I told him all the shit I was getting at the bakery, he offered to take me with him. Mm. I bet you were glad to get out of there. Yeah, though it's not like they give me much peace here either. It's all, Jakey, come here. Jakey, go there. Jakey, get that. Well, but surely you can't be any worse off here than in the bakery. No, only at the bakery, the worst I ever got was a beating. It's not like my life was in danger, but here, when those Beerman brothers are drunk, I have to keep well out of sight. Mm. How come they bullied you at the bakery? It's usually the shy ones bullies pick on. That's not exactly you. Not now, maybe. I learned a thing or two since then. Oh, come on, you, shy? You just said you were playing the fool and telling jokes in the tavern. All right, well, I'll tell you the truth. They picked on me because I'm an orphan. The parish priest of St. Apollinaire's in Prague found me as a baby in a church on winter's morning. 
I spent half my childhood in parish houses and half on the street. I see. Oh. That must have been tough. It still is tough. I can tell you that. Fair enough. All right. Good talk, Jackie. See you later. All right. Now where is where is old Stony? There he is, all the way by himself. Jakey sent me to you. Something about a ring. Mm -hmm. I suppose you want me to get it from someone. Mm -hmm. Who has it? Uh. I didn't quite. Is is it fletching? Hmm. Mm. Does Dangler have it? Hmm. All right. Hmm. How should I get it? Hmm. You know what? You make a good point there, Stonio. A very good point. I want the ring of Bacchus. I heard you have it. So you come and ask me for it. Well, that's a novel approach. Well, you don't just have to steal it from each other. Why not play for it? No, I don't play dice. But we can duel for it. All right, your funeral. All right. Why not? I'll wage the ring, and you put up some groschen. All right. Sure. Sure. I'll wager that. Hmm. That'll do it. Well, now it's something worth fighting for. You better watch out. All right. Bring it on, Dangy. Dangly. Dangio. Show me what you're made of. Fuck it. Now you fuck. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> 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 
Sit the hell down. next time <sighs> just watch her it doesn't get pinched <laughs> I'll do that thanks there we go mission accomplished I got the ring from Dangler hmm yeah well I, uh, I suppose there's not much more either of us can say about it mm -mm. yeah yeah, right? uh, yeah, thanks to you. Oh, yeah. Cool. Ooh. Book on speech, eh? That could come in handy. <clears throat> I mean... I don't really need it, because I'm maxed out on speech, but it should give me some XP for my reading skill, though. <clears throat> sure, why not? Alright. Let's give it a read. Hmm. Ring is as sought after as the Holy Grail, eh? Just saying. I probably should have sat down somewhere. That would have. That would have probably made the reading comprehension go a bit faster. Could have gotten it done in two hours instead of three, but... Oh well. 
I doubt it matters that much. <clears throat> um. Okay, yeah, sure. Something about the ring and stuff. All right, it's enough. Hey, I wanna have a word with you. Falling around. What is it, Stefan? What's it about, Stefan? Ah, Henry, the very man I wanted to see. I heard you got the ring from Dangler, and gave it to the stone. I might have. Uh, maybe. Let's not beat around the bush. I could use your help too. I think the stone has had the ring long enough. If you get what I'm saying. I don't want to go rummaging in anyone's belongings. Not this dangerous lots anyway. Nah, don't worry. I'll take care of that part. I need you to do something else. I What's want to that? steal the ring from the stone while he's asleep. But that fella sleeps with one eye open. Oh. He needs a little help with sleeping soundly. And I've got a Damn feeling it. you're the kind of man who knows how to arrange that kind of thing. <sighs> I'm something of an alchemist myself. Sure. I'll bring you some sleeping potion. Great. I knew I could count on you. And if you happen to come across that ring, all the better. All right, though. I'll see what I can do. But not right now, though. Right now, we got a job to do. Should we ride out? Oh, you'd like to ride out, would you? Wouldn't you rather leave us sitting here on our asses, waiting for you a few more days? Sorry, I no? have a job to take care of. A job? I believe Radzig assigned you to us. So this is your fucking job. I don't understand what I did wrong. You told me that it's too late to go out now and that I should go, go to sleep here. So that's what I did. Is it because it's noon, not morning? Come on, give me a break. I apologize. All right, all right. Just don't fucking keep us waiting again. I'd like to head to the north. Is there anything interesting that way? North of here, uh, Samapesh and Merhoyed are that way, and Talmberg is a bit further on. There's stables in Merhoyed. I wouldn't mind paying a visit to those stables. We can go through there. And from there? From there, we'll follow our noses. Something interesting is sure to turn up. Feel it in my bones. Man up and let's go! Sure. Chief. All right then. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What a fine day, eh, brother? What you gonna do? You know what I like best about days like this, yeah? Hmm. The scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides, among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills rising. All soft and pink, the sunlight, and the fertile valley below spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow, the sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar, standing tall and erect. Aye, it reminds me of that day. That day, when the two of us fought Fletcher's Ma. <laughs> Very draw. You'd make a stuffed bug bar. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> I stuffed her myself. <laughs> I can't smell any cannabis. Well, men, how are things? Are yes, Fletch? No choice. I'm a little concerned about the prospects of this club. Oh? How's that? I've been looking around and it feels pleasant. It seems to me that we've been stuck. It's not Paris, France, I'll grant you. It makes me uneasy, I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is moaning about. 
There's plenty of booze and loose wenches nearby. Not to mention fools in the taverns who don't know when to stop rolling those dice. Dangler! It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. And it always makes me uneasy. Jakey! Blanche can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do homeworks in girl sizes. Oh, well how did you get yours then? All right, I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry, there will be plunder. We're here to fight, and to the victor the spoils. And so it's always been, but no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want, moan all you want, but nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. Chief, there's something going on over there. Let's go! Oh? Behind me, keep your eyes peeled. Yeah! Where are we going? Towards that smoke? I guess so. What do you think we can expect this time, fellas? Groshen, hidden in a piss pot under the bed. A nice chunk of beef. No one there would be eating. On account of you to just fall out through the holes in their bellies, hey eh, brother? <laughs> My mouth is already watering, brother. I ain't even touched a purse yet. Once you get your hands on some loot, I'll be happy to play you for your hard earned crush. Poor old Fletch. Never gets to see the action from close up. What about you, Dangler? What do you expect to find? Utility in human suffering. Like always. Always full of good cheer, eh, Dangler? Why don't you take a leaf out of Stone's book? Shut the fuck up. Jesus. I wish you'd all shut the fuck up. <clears throat> Keep your eyes peeled, though. There might be someone hiding out here still. Look for clues and question the survivors, if there are any. All right, then. I'm gonna get to it, if you don't mind. Jesus Christ, what a massacre. Hmm. Interesting. No signs of resistance. They've simply slaughtered them like animals. <sighs> Looks like it happened fast. God Almighty. Mm. They weren't even armed. Hello? Is anybody home? This whole place has been ransacked. Hello? Knock knock. Anybody? Oh? Oh. What's all this? <coughs> mm. It's an interesting looking crest. Kuno will want to know about this. House of Zul. Mm. What does the message say? A message for Sir Radzik. <coughs> ah. Radzik Kobola, you unscrupulous beast, devo devoid of Christian morals. I accuse you. You abandoned all honor and virtue when you perpetrated acts of cruelty and malevolence against me and my forebears. I call you a cur for committing those vile deeds which you certainly remember well. I challenge you to face me in a duel, as befits knight knightly virtue, to desist from cowardly concealment behind castle walls to defend your honor and that of your house, as behooves noble status. If you decline to do so, I will travel this land and truthfully make known to all that you are an ignorant 
ignominious wretch, unfit for the company of decent men. I shall have your shield nailed to the pillory as a mark of shame. Swear before God that I act justly, bow my family honor, and perpetrate against you only that which you deserve. My grievance is only against you, but the longer you hide from me in a cowardly manner, the longer shall I maraud and plunder in this province. Be it upon your head. Signed on June 2nd in the year 1403 by Sir Hagen Zool. Hagen? Hagen? Hmm. Interesting. I found this shield in a shed along with a letter. Seems like someone left us a message. Show me that. Hmm. I know that, Chris. It's the house of Zul. A dangerous lot, God's truth. I don't think we'll find anything else here. We'll stay here a while, just in case. And you should go and report to Radzig what happened. Alright. What do you know about these Zuls? A family of impoverished nobles. They fought in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia. But what they're after in Bohemia, I've no idea. Alright. I'll ride out right away. Go. Ride like the devil. If they openly left a message like that, then I reckon there's trouble on the horizon. Yeah. You're probably right. No. I better get going then. Grosher from that one. One more here. Uh, that makes. You found anything interesting? Fuck all. They cleaned them out good and proper. But one fellow was still alive. Oh, yeah? And what did you do with him? Don't you worry. I seen plenty of wounded fellas, and he wouldn't have made it. So I put him out of his misery. I see. Oh. And did he tell you anything? Uh, he mumbled something about some Lord something. Zool, I think. Yeah. Mm. He could be the one who left this letter here. Interesting. The plot thickens. I guess. Oh, Heather. Stefan? You, uh, find anything interesting? Did you find any tracks? Some, a horse or two. They rode off through the meadow towards dawn. They were avoiding the road, which is interesting. Towards dawn? Hmm. Meaning towards the east. Apart from the mounted ones, there oh. were some men on foot too. Well weighed down. Well, they can't move too fast then. No. And what's more, they left a trail of blood. One or more of them might be wounded. Either that, or they dragged off some poor bastard from here. Nice work. Thanks. Interesting. Alright. Well, maybe we can catch up to them. And, I don't know, put an end to them before... Before anything... Before they can, you know, manage to uh, recuperate and... Lick their wounds. In a manner of speaking. Oh? Poor hmm. creature. Hunted down like game. Interesting. Was it hunted down or. Oh? Is that blood? Oh. Blood on the tree? Looks like they carried away a lot of stuff. Hmm. Bunch of apples. Interesting. So, uh, so they didn't just come to kill. They also stole. They went this way. They ransacked all the houses too. Hmm. Seems they met some resistance at the farm. Hmm. Resistance, eh? Oh? What a waste. But at least I know which way they went. Hmm. 
What's in the barrels, I wonder? Oh, oh, here we go. Jackpot. Some more blood. Oh, I think I hear people talking. A lot of people. Deal with the raiders? Does this sound like something I want to do right now? Maybe I should go back to him. I'm sure he'd be more than willing to lend a helping hand. Uh, hello again. I tracked down those raiders. You did? Well, nice work. So where are they? A short way to the east, in a glade in the woods. They're dividing up their loot. How many of them are there? Like, uh... Somewhere between seven and eight, maybe. There was a bunch of people. I don't think it was ten. I think it was less than that. Yeah, maybe seven or eight. About seven. Hmm. We'll see. I'll tell the lads we're going to deal with them. Nice and quiet. All right. Hey, you need some help? Now. Do you need some help with that, or? Listen up. Henry tracked down those bastards who raided the farm. They're dividing up their loot not far from here. So let's pounce on them and give them what for. Move out. All right. I mean, the objective says <coughs> help Kuno eliminate the raiders, so. I guess Saradzik can wait a little bit. Until we put an end to those raiders. Quiet as the grave, as the stone would say. That's a good one. I haven't heard that one since. Let me see. At a loss for words, are you? <laughs> Stop it, please. Or I'll split my sides laughing. I feel sorry for the stone. Imagine not being able to insult your enemy's mother. Ah, big mouth Jakey makes up for it. I don't know how you managed without me for so long. Who was it needed their back covered last time? Jakey. Jakey. Fuck you. I don't need minding. We all cover each other's backs. That's how this band works. Get used to it. I've no intention of getting myself killed by a bunch of bandits who pillaged a farm for cabbage. Well, I don't know. You might get mistaken for a cabbage yourself. Aye, he's green enough. <laughs> I'll cover you, Jakey. Got it? Thanks a lot, Blanche. Oh, there they are. Still there. Let's see. It's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. It was ten. Never mind. Well 
land. Dirty bandits. Something wrong? It's like I said. The victor goes to the spoils. And all that. Steven? Alright. Come on, get up, man. It's over. You did it. Sent those bastards straight to hell. So. Feel free to get up. Whenever you're ready. You know what I like best in a skirmish, Jan? Pray tell, brother. When there's one last fucker left, we surround him. Hack him from all sides until he falls in a bloody heap on the ground. I love that. Mm. <laughs> we ought to wager on who delivers the fatal blow. Well, I never. A new wager? Fletch will be up for that. We've got to do something to spice things up. It's making more like a proper war. Maybe if we timed our attacks better. It'll look more like a battle plan, eh? But when your blood's up... Aye, plans go to hell in the heat of battle. Everyone's still going to lay into that last fucker with everything they got anyway. Aye, even if we have to chase him all the way to Olomots to do it. Alright, next time we'll see who delivers the coup de grace. Shaky can keep an eye on it while he's hiding in the bushes, shitting his braids as usual. The only place I'll be shitting is in your tent. I like that faint strike from the left, brother. Right. Yeah, we'll nice have a look trip. around here for what do you call uh, that. The secret uh, of the trade, Sonny. Meanwhile, like you Henry, lost your you go and report to Radson. Alright. Sounds good. Hey, you've no business here. Clear off or you'll be sorry. Oh, well, I never. Excuse me. Sir Radzik. May I speak to you? Mother of God! Sir Razik, please. It's urgent. Sir Razik? Sir? Before you go to bed. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Let me just tell you what happened. Sir, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We came across a burnt out farm near Merhoyed. Hmm. Toth must have left some of his cronies behind. What? Now this is something else, sir. We found a shield there with a crest. A tricolor star on a blue field. I know that coat of arms, unfortunately. It's the house of Zul. There was a letter there. Yeah. Too. Show it to me. Although I think I already know what it will say. Here you are, sir. Unscrupulous beast. Mm -hmm. Cruelty and malevolence. Uh -huh. I challenge you to face me in a duel. Defend your honor. Mm -hmm. Anonymous wretch? Well, that's nice. Hmm. Signed, Hagen Zul. As I expected, old grievances coming back to haunt me. Hmm. What happened between you and Sir Hagen? That's a long story. Well? Well, I'd like to hear the whole story, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. It began in the first year of King Wenceslas's reign. He sent me to resolve a dispute between the Zuls and a neighboring house. It concerned right. land boundaries. 
The Zuls had refused to accept the ruling of the land court. His Majesty's position was a little shaky after his coronation. So a decision was made in the royal court to take radical action against any dissent in the kingdom. Since the Zul family was defying the king, we were obliged to punish them. Harshly, as the circumstances demanded, the head of the family, Hagen's father, was hanged, their castle razed to the ground and their property confiscated. So, they're out for vengeance. But you acted according to the law. Would it were that simple, lad? I was young and didn't realize the repercussions it would bring. For one thing, the king didn't use it to strengthen his position. On the contrary, he took less and less interest in such affairs. How come? Because he realized things would eventually sort themselves out. He promoted me to Royal Hetman, leaving him to pursue other interests. Secondly, my actions essentially created another band of robbers. When you strip a nobleman of his property, you can't expect him to take to begging. And thirdly, mm. I wasn't aware at the time that the other party to the dispute was distantly related to me. Naturally, mm. that made it look like I was acting in self-interest. If I'd known what I know today, I'd have been a lot more circumspect. I see. Mr. Hagen wants to challenge you to a duel. Apparently, he still hopes I will agree to this kind of outmoded solution to disputes. But surely you can't refuse a challenge to a duel. What about your honor? Henry, my boy, honor is a splendid thing, and it should be held in high regard. But in time, you'll learn that some matters are not so straightforward. Like this one? Yes, like this one. The only reason Hagen is challenging me now is that he has a marked advantage. I've served as the royal hetman for the last 15 years and become a courtier. Hagen, meanwhile, was fighting in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia, and elsewhere as a mercenary. Which of us do you think would win a duel? That's not honor, but an abuse of honor. Commonplace opportunism. I don't blame him for trying, but I'm not such a fool as to play by his rules. Hmm. So... Well, what are we going to do about this? You and Kuno's band will just have to deal with Hagen and prevent further mayhem. The longer he's marauding around these parts, the greater the chances that I'll finally have to succumb to his conditions. So you'd fight him if it came to that? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. But maybe there's something else behind this challenge. Maybe it's coin he's after. Who knows? All right. We'll deal with him, sir. I'm sure you will, Henry. Yeah. I'd like to ask some... Sure. I'd like to ask... What happened? That's... See you later. Alright. Hey. Thanks. Thanks for the talk. Who are you? I'm... Just leaving. Hey, what the hell do you think you're oh. doing? If you don't clear off quick, it'll be the worst for you. Yep, 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 I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm gone. See? Nothing to worry about. Just paying my father a visit. Alright. Let's head back to Kuno and his merry men. Hey there, uh, Stefan. I, uh... I've got that patient for you. A few drops in the stone's drink and he'll sleep like a baby. I hope not. Babies have a tendency to shut themselves and wake up screaming. I, you know what I mean. Alright. Well, good luck on your, um... Uh, Mission or whatever. There's the old stone again. All right. Well, uh, I guess we better head out for our next mission then. I've been to see Sir Radzik. 
So how did he take the news? Well, he wasn't exactly happy about it. I can well imagine. I wouldn't want the Zools plundering my estates either. If I had any. He wants us to carry on patrolling the area. There's nothing else for it. That makes sense. I don't think he'll come to us. So we'll just have to hope we run into him. Hmm. I'd like to check out the big forest to the north. And then carry on via Ujits. Sure. Alright. Mount up then, and let's go. Can we stop for a bit? My ass is aching, and I've such a thirst I could drink a moat dry. Same here. Now, what do you say, Chief? Not to worry. We'll re-choose it soon. We'll spend the night there. I hear they've got a peculiar priest there. <laughs> they say he drinks like the devil himself. <laughs> There's nothing strange about that. Every other man of the cloth is a swill pot. Or a lecher. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Listen. Oh. Hmm. Wait, this could be a trap. Nothing to fear. We're with Sir Radzik, in the manner of speaking. What's the matter? These brigands came. The menfolk fled and left us there. They started pillaging the place, drinking whatever they could find and smashing things. I ran off, but the other girls... The... You've got to save them. Please, I beg you. Easy, lass. Drinking, you say? Aye, sir. They rolled the casks into the courtyard and started swilling like pigs from a trough. Well, as our old cook used to say, if you want to make a proper goulash, you should soak the meat in ale for a while to soften it first. Ah, let them get well soaked and then go and chop them up. Good thinking, Chief. But what about the girls? Those men, they, they were... Ah. I'm sure your friends won't be getting nothing they ain't had before. Well, unless they be nuns. <laughs> Sir? Kuno, the girl's right. If we delay, her friends will pay the price for it. I appreciate your advice, Henry. But it's caution that will keep you alive, not chivalrous deeds. But it's not just about you. How do you think Sir Radzik will look if you let that happen? What will people say? If I cared what people say, I wouldn't be a mercen. It's no skin off my nose. Well, I can tell you, Sir Radzik cares, and so do I. So we better ride there right now. Oh, all right. I hope your Radzig will take care of my funeral mass too. My sin-burdened soul will need a bit of a push to get through the gates of heaven. Don't worry. They won't be as drunk as you'd like, but they won't be entirely sober either. True enough. Let's do it then. All right. Then. Right. We better try and save those girls from Hagen's brutes. Let's go. That's what I like to hear. Let's take care of these brigands. Who are you? Who wants their back covered? My right arm is stiff since last night. Cover that side for me. It's all in the wrist, Dangler. <laughs> and best to take off your gauntlet first, so as not to do yourself an injury. Still, it's always good you? to have your helmet well polished before battle. <laughs> Thanks for your valuable advice, brothers. I'll watch your right side then, yeah? 
Thanks, Jakey. Hey! Hey, how's it going? All right. Fuck. Come on. Wash up, brother. Heart in your mouth. Get it together, lads. Fuck. It's a sign from God, better. A foretaste of what we'll do with the liquid loot we take from the bow. Shit. I wanted to charge them with a terrifying roar. There'll be no more wine flowing here. Now it's your blood that will st stain the ground. They'll be shitting themselves. Hmm. Impressive. Hell out of here. Good work, lads. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Interesting. It's got a point. I don't see any damsels in distress here. Where, oh, where could they be? A panache maze. Okay, sure. Long sword. Right. I thought these bandits will have anything unique or valuable on them, anyways. So. You good? Have a scrap with me. Scrap? That's putting it in vulgar terms. I want to challenge you to an honorable bout of combat. <laughs> You've nothing better to do right now, anyway. All right. You're a man after my own heart. Tell you what, <clears throat> let's make it a lot more interesting. Sure. Well, a wager like that will bring a bit of excitement into it, at least. You're very sure of yourself, ain't you? Well, you're not the only one. So let's do it. All right. Bring it on. Nice and easy. Up for a game? Always. I've got some nice little items to wager. What do you say? Well, that depends what you have. I've got a shield, a jupon, and a very fine embroidered hat. The shield's got the Rickfald crest. A nice piece, handles well, and tough enough to take quite a battery. Then I've got this combat jupon. Not only does it look good, but it'll help keep your skin in one piece. And then there's this noble hat. It's not a lot of use on the battlefield, but if you want to look elegant around town, it'll certainly make a big impression on folk. 
and the girls will be fighting at your feet. Hmm. Hmm. Just the thing is, I don't believe that any of these will look as good as I imagined them to be, so... Mm. All right, jupon it is, huh? Well, I could use that jupon. All right, but what will you wager? You'll have to make it worth my while. After all, fine things like these here don't just grow on trees. Um... This should be enough, right? That'll do me. Let's play. Go on then. Let's do it. Saint George, guide my hand. <clears throat> Let the games begin. All right, all right. Not, not bad, not bad. How about this? What do you think of that? That won't happen again. Surely. Well, you never know. You never know what this hmm. strange world of ours has in store for any of us. Anything is possible, really. You know? Your turn. Alright. Allow me, sir. No point in pushing it. Holy mother of God, why do you punish me? And that's game. And this jupon looks like shit. How about that game then? Have you still got those nice things you'd like to wager? I do indeed. What takes your fancy? I like the sound of that shield. I'll play you for that. All right, but what will you wager? You'll have to make it worth my while. After all, fine things like these here don't just grow on trees. No, I guess not. This should be enough, right? That'll do me. Let's play. Alright. Here we go again. So, bring it on. Not bad, not bad. Should I? Shouldn't I? No, I didn't. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Too risky. Let me give you a fighting chance here. Or... Never mind. There we go, there we Your go. Turn. Now we're getting somewhere. Keep at it. I'm sure you'll you'll get get there yet. Or maybe not. You won't hear much. He's dropping That's it. This'll be the one. No, I'm for the chop. Should have quit while you still had. 
That's a rookie mistake right there. Let me give you another fighting chance. Ah, see? I wanted to do that. It's all part of the plan. That was to give you some confidence. So now I get to take it all away from you. Behold. Victory is mine. <sighs> Better give it up, chump. Holy mother of God, why do you punish me? There we are. Now. How about that get uh, How about that hat? Well, from the sounds of it, with a hat like that, I could rule the world. I'll play you for it. Alright, but what will you wager? After all. This should be it. That'll do me. Alright, here we go. The one to end it all. <laughs> St. George, guide my hand. <clears throat> we'll see. We will see. All right, not not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, here we go. God's holy hat! Should have quit while you're ahead. Rookie mistake. You'll you'll learn eventually. Don't worry, you'll learn. One of these days, you'll get there. Eventually. Hmm. Your turn. Hmm. Here we go. Now we're talking. Why? Oh, why didn't I quit when I was ahead? Yeah. It's a very good question. actually not that bad really it's just that it takes the slot of my red scarf which is which uh, which I'm I'm very fond of so no can do but you know what I'll keep it around I'll just keep it around as a sentimental gift of sorts wow look at this totally not generic nobleman's hat Incredible. Head covering that's popular primarily with an ability due to its imposing shape. Its fine material, strong colors, and gold ornament make this a hat a work of art. Yeah. Sure looks like it. Never mind. I'll just sell this one off. Um, can I have a certified re recoil shield? Heraldic shield of the, of the House of Rickwald, which, though impoverished, still retains its aristocratic coat of arms. It's about the same stats, right? Oh, no, not really. 105 defense. 133 defense. Charisma 18. Charisma 5. Durability 38. It's not really as strong as you think, is it? Mm. 
Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna take any. I'm not. The, none of these rewards are either beneficial, useful, or you know, pretty looking enough to keep around. So to the back end they go. What? Oh, it is poison. Okay. <coughs> Never mind. All right. Did I ever tell you about the time St. Clair appeared to me? Ah, You're not listening anyway. Hmm? Are we not... Are we not gonna check on these... Girls? Alleged girls? <clears throat> they left us some damn good booze here. And as my old man used to say, the fire of battle must be quenched. Of course, the only battle he was ever in was with Ma. But still, it fits. Anyway, mm. I hope you'll drink with us. Um. Sure. What could possibly go wrong? Sure. Why look a gift horse in the mouth? My words exactly. Me and the lads were just saying how we know nothing about you. Most of the folk around here have hardly been further than the village market. But you must have seen a thing or two. Yeah. Could say that. Once I met a very peculiar character in Sasau. He was selling amulets, relics, and all sorts of supposedly miraculous junk. Charlotte! You want to watch out for fellas like that? Indeed. But this charlatan took me on as an apprentice. The sorcerer's apprentice? You're having me on, right? No, no, it wasn't like that. He just wanted me to, um, acquire some things for him. Nothing too difficult, so I did it. What kind of things? Like a tooth from St. Procopius, for instance? What? Relics like that don't exactly grow on trees. No, of course. So instead, we settled for a tooth from some laborer called Procopius. So this fella was walking around with a mouthful of relics. <laughs> I guess. How did it end up? Well, in the end, the charlatan was driven out of town by an irate mob. I was lucky they didn't lynch me instead. Nobody likes a swindler, that's for sure. Tell us another. You tell me. Have you heard of Sir Hans Capon? I heard his name mentioned in Colleen. In connection with some wenches, I recall. A young dandy, eh? Yeah, that's him. He's going to inherit Ratai once he comes of age. I run some errands for him now and again. Well, once we were at the baths together, and his lordship wanted to seduce one of the bathmaids. Naturally, that's what the baths are for, among other things. Yeah, but with Sir Hans, nothing is ever straightforward. First, I had to play strip dice. <laughs> That's good. Did you win? <laughs> I did. But I had to strip myself anyway to get into the tub. Only, no sooner had I done so, than his lordship demanded wine from the castle cellars. Which is a long fucking way from there. I reckon you're a man who can't resist a challenge. <laughs> if I'd been sober. I went all the way there and back in my undergarments. And no sooner was I back, than he sent me to pick flowers for the girl from the castle gardens. <laughs> it's starting to sound like a fairy tale with three wishes. Well, actually, he probably did have a third wish, but he didn't get a chance to say it. How's that? Well, I got back only to find the girl's sweetheart, some guard called Arson Balls, well, that's what Sir Hans called him, trying to drown him in the bath. <laughs> drown a nobleman over a winch. That's Balls all right. Well, Sir Hans was naked and drunk, so he didn't look very noble. <laughs> Anyway, I tackled this fella and saved Sir Hans from him. It could have all got out of hand, but it ended with only a few bruises. Sir Hans never got his way with the girl, though. All that trouble for nothing! <laughs> Tell us another. Have you seen Sassau Monastery? I've seen it from the outside. A fine building. But at the pace they're going, it'll never be finished. <laughs> You could be right. Anyway, I've seen it from the inside. Like you were in the courtyard? Like I was in the cloisters. <laughs> Good one. 
Only the monks are allowed in there. Exactly. Come on, Henry. I like a good story, but at least make it believable. Oh, I swear to God. I had to get in there to find a fella who was hiding out amongst the monks. I see, but they don't take... No offence. Every idiot that comes along. No. You have to be able to read and write and speak Latin and sing it, even. Yeah, or at least convince them you can. <laughs> you speak Latin? Sure. Basio sepo volam qui plagam diligo solam. I'm impressed. What does it mean? Ah, something about how you can't trust anyone. I don't know exactly. You don't have to understand Latin to know that. No, it comes in handy if you want to insult a priest, though. Well, well, we have a scholar in our midst. And what's it like in the cloisters? It's like time moves at a different pace there. You pretty much have to do the same thing day in, day out. Get up before dawn, pray in the chapel, eat with the brothers, then go and work in the gardens or the library. I don't think I can handle that much excitement. Yeah. <laughs> it takes some getting used to, all right? A nice story, but let's just drink. All right. Oof, seven tankards of ale and a bottle of spirits. This is gonna hit hard. It's gonna hit us even harder in the morning. Where'd... Where'd everyone go? Where'd they all leave? Oh god, I have to go back there on my own with a hangover. Well, that's just great. Hey, Henry, I'd like a word with you. Yeah, what do you want, Jan? I think I can already guess, but uh, let me guess. It's about that ring. Yeah. You gave it to Fletch, right? Uh, yeah. Sure. That's a shame. I had my eye on it. Any idea where he put it? He definitely ain't got it on him. Sorry. No. Nope. Not a clue. Look here. If you could get it back from him and bring it to me, I'll give you something for your trouble. I'll see what I can do. Sounds fair enough. I'll keep an eye out, I guess. I want that ring. I believe you still have it? Ha! <laughs> First he brings me the ring, then he wants it back. Well, those are the rules of the game, right? True enough. Only I did the sensible thing and hid it carefully. It's not so much about the free booze. I'm just a competitive bastard by nature. But just to make things interesting, here's a wee clue for you. Find the dead standing among the living, and turn your eyes heavenward. Hmm. The dead. Standing among the living. Turn your eye heavenwards. Is he talking about the stone? Where is the stone? <clears throat> Mr. Stone? And look up heavenwards? Mm. I don't think that's it. Dead among the living. Um, is there a cemetery nearby or something? If there is a cemetery, I don't see one. A graveyard somewhere, tombstone. Here or there. I 
I don't know. It's not much of a clue, is it? Dead among the living. That could be anywhere. But if we're meant to look upwards, heavenwards, maybe maybe it's somewhere indoors. Maybe. What's going on here? Interesting sight. What's so interesting about it, I wonder? I doubt it's the dandelions. So, what could it be? A rock? One of these rocks have something in them? Here or there? What is so interesting? I'm not seeing it. <sighs> is it somewhere below? I don't see like a cave entrance here or something, so... I don't know what could... what this could possibly refer to. Yeah, I don't know, man. I give up. Alright. Whatever. I guess that ring is gonna be gone forever now. Alright. Uh. Oh. I'm looking for the ring of Bacchus. Fletching is supposed to have it, but he's hidden it. <laughs> you won't have it easy then. Fletch is as tricky as they come. Hmm. Hmm. If I can ask around, maybe I'll find some more clues. Who's this? God save. Okay. Good luck then. It's just a passerby then. All right. I'm looking for that ring. Stefan has it hidden away somewhere. Know anything about it? Christ, you haven't had enough. No, I don't know anything. Enough of what? Chasing around after that trinket. It's just as well you took it from me, though. Don't need any extra temptation to get drunk. Uh, thanks, anyway. Hmm. Interesting. I'm looking for the ring. That tricky bastard Stefan has hidden it somewhere. Yeah, well, I don't know. What don't you know? Where he put it. I don't know. <laughs> Jakey... I never even asked you if you knew where he put it, and you're already trying to wriggle out of answering. You know something. But I promised Fletch I wouldn't tell anyone. He's the only one here who treats me right, and I want to keep it that way. He's not the only one who treats you well. So do I. Don't you want to keep on my good side, too? I'm Sir Radzig Cobbler's right-hand man. It'd be smart to get into my good books. Ah, huh, I suppose so. Maybe it'd come in useful for me one day. There you are, then. Exactly. So, where did he hide it? It's in a nest. Aha! Mm, what nest? A bird's nest? Kestrels, I think. Aha! Nice. I think you know what I mean. Well, if you climb on top of that hillock in the camp and look more or less north, You'll see a kind of half-dead tree, and it's on that. Tricky bugger. Thanks. Oh. That's what he meant about half-dead thing. He was talking about a half-dead tree. Dead among the living. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Perfect. We got the ring, at last. We almost gave up. Well, not almost. We did give up hope. But, 
We have the ring. I've got the ring. <laughs> Kuno won't know what hit him. I'll drink the alehouse dry just to get my money's worth. Here, have a drink yourself on me. Thanks. Oh. Enjoy. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, knock yourself out, I guess. All right. Let's head back to Kuna. And start up our next mission. Can we set out? Sure. We'll head towards Sassau today. Jakey heard at the tavern in Ledechko that someone there saw some unfamiliar horseman. You think they could be Hagen's? Maybe, maybe not. It's enough that they're not local. Could be the escort of some merchant caravan, of course. Jakey, go and scout ahead. Don't want us running into any surprises. See if there's a good spot for us to camp. Right, Chief. What's the matter with Jakey? No back talk. I gave him a swig of snaps at supper. Perhaps it made a man of him overnight. Or <laughs> <laughs> that boar piss of yours took away his will to live. <laughs> Damn it, I knew it. Sold us out, Jakey. Sold us out. How much did they pay you, huh? What was the price for betrayal? <clears throat> it's not gonna matter. We won't live long enough to enjoy any of it. Settle down. Do I still have poison on? No? Okay. Put some poison on. Whew, 
Alright. Let's stick together, fellas. We'll be out of this mess in no time. Come on. Try to keep up. What the hell? It's one hell of a coordinated attack. Oh. Is there more? Oh. Okay. Hmm. What now? I don't know. They could be lying in wait for us anywhere. Someone must have snitched on us. Yeah. Split up. You think? Get the fuck out of here. So every man for himself. Just so. What? But you think it was one of the band who betrayed us? Look around for yourself. Who's missing? Jakey. That's who. I sent him on ahead, and he knows which way we're going. That little fucking Judas. When I get my hands on him, he'll rue the day he was born. I'll try and track him down. He can't be too far away. No, it's too risky. He could have Hagen's people all around him. All we need to do is get out of here in one piece. <sighs> all right, then. So be it. I guess I'll, uh... We'll go out and see you back at camp. Uh, well, here we are back at camp. So, either I'm the first one to arrive back, or something has gone horribly wrong. And none of Kuno nor any of his men were able to make it back in one piece. Hello? <sighs> Am I just too early? Should I just sit and wait for them? Once Kuno and his band are rested back at the camp, we can set out on another mission. Alright. Well, maybe they just haven't made it back yet. So, we'll w wait for them. Whose horse is that? Why is there just one horse here? Whose horse is that? Lucifer. The fuck? It's an odd name for a horse, isn't it? What the hell is going on? Someone here? Is there someone lurking in the camp? Or... What's going on? Who does that horse belong to? I don't see anyone here. If there is someone here, then... They're well hidden. I'm... Okay. Oh. I 
I hear horse footsteps. Is that my own? Is that from my own horse? Okay. <sighs> Let's wait a couple hours, I guess. Three hours. See if anyone turns up. I guess to be fair, none of them ha none of them went back on their horses. So maybe that's why I got here much sooner than they did. I guess. Oh, okay, good. Not to worry then. Everything is a okay. Someone call for me? What's happening? Like I said, maybe you might help me out. It wouldn't by any chance have to do with the ring I got for your brother. Ha! How did you guess? Put it down to my amazing powers of deduction. That's a lucky guess. So, are you gonna get it for me? It won't be easy, mind. Jan thinks I might try to steal it. The mistrustful bastard. Sure. All right. Why the hell not? Great. Best thing is just to pinch it. He watches me like a hawk. But you. Alright. I'll see what I can do. There we go. And none were the wiser. That was easy enough. There you go, buddy. I got the ring. Brilliant. Yan will have a fit. <laughs> Here, have this for your trouble. You've earned it. Thanks. Good luck. Try not spend it all in one place, eh? I see everyone made it back in one piece. Thank Christ. Someone up there must like us. Somehow we always manage to get out of these sticky situations. Well, someone up there, or someone down there. Shit, right. Well, the main thing is we made it. So we'll go patrolling again? We will, but not you. What? What do you mean? Why not? I found out where Jakey is. I want you to grab him, beat everything he knows about Hagen out of him. Uh, okay. Well, that sounds like a good plan. But why me? For one thing, you're reliable. And for another, you're not likely to wring his neck on sight. Which can't be said for the rest of us. Hmm. Fair enough. But where is he hiding? He isn't a little shit. He's drinking away his 30 pieces of silver in some alehouse, bold as brass. Mm. Be in on the meadow or something like that. Be in in the glade? Yeah, that's the one. Interesting. Surely he can't be that stupid, can he? What are you going to be doing in the meanwhile? We'll go on patrol as normal. It could be a trick, you see, to lure us into a trap. But what if they're waiting to right. bring a trap on me? It could well be, Henry. So you should be very careful. But one thing's for sure. Jakey won't be there forever. And someone's got to go and check it out. I'll get going then. Fair enough. Go. And when you find him, deal with him however you see fit. Just make sure you find out what he knows first. Right, Chief. All right. <clears throat> I will, uh, I'll be back. Alright, here we are at the Inn in the Gl- Henry, I'm glad you came. Inn in the Glades. Let's go ask around for old Janky. 
apparently he's been spending his silver here. But I don't see anyone of his description anywhere around here. Could he be in one of these rooms? Hmm. All right. <sighs> Seems that finding him won't be that easy. Let's uh, ask around first. See what we can find out. What's the hold up there? Hello? Oh. God be with you. Hey, um. I'm looking for a young fella by the name of Jakey. A cheeky looking stripling. That'll be him, alright. Sure. Well, I don't like to snitch on my guests. It ain't good for business. But since it's you, I'll make an exception. Thanks, Andrew. Go on. Well. I was gonna throw him out on his ear at first. He strolls in here like some lord, ordering people around. He's nothing but a snot-nosed brat. But then, he showed me the way of his person. Well, business is business. He stayed here a couple of days. Yesterday evening he was boozing here. And then went off to the woods with some wedge. To the woods? Mmm. It's a very broad term in these parts. Someone said they saw them heading south across the meadow. There's pine woods there and cliffs, and that's where they went. The girl's father was here with her, a merchant. As soon as he noticed she was gone, he went off to look for her. You might meet him. All right. Thanks. I just might. All right. Good luck. Thanks a lot, Andrew. You've been very helpful. Which is a rare sight. Come over here and let me whisper something in your ear. No thanks, whore. Not interested. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. South towards the meadow. An old merchant here. I'm honored that you should come to me. Think we're getting somewhere. What's going on here? Marie, my daughter has run away. That's what's going on. Some people mm. at the inn said they saw her running this way with some fellow. And not far from here, I found a scarf. Hmm. I can have a look for your Maria, if you want. You do that? Of course. Sure. Helping my neighbor in his hour of need is my Christian duty. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You said you found her scarf here somewhere. Yes. Right past the shrubbery there. Hanging on a tree. Mm. Mm. I'll have a look that way then. Good luck to you. <sighs> somewhere near a shrubbery. Oh. There we go. Looks like Hansel and Gretel went this way. Hmm. Jack and Jill, more like. They went up the hill. And now they're... about to tumble on down. Hmm. So... further south, then? But where could he be taking her? Is there a special camp here somewhere? Who's just talking? Could he be taking her to, um... Zool's... Zool's camp? Who said that? Who's talking? Someone say something? Oh? 
the hell is going on here? Henry? Please, Henry. Oh, Jakey. What am I going to do with you now, huh? I'm glad you're here, Henry. I thought I'd be stuck here till Judgment Day. What the fuck are you doing here? That could still happen. I picked up this wench at the inn, see? And we wanted to go somewhere quiet. Only the bitch whacked me on the head with a rock and fucked off with all my coin. Did she now? And which way did she go? I haven't a clue. But I reckon as far away from her father as she can get. She won't be going back in a hurry. I've met some mad wenches in my time. But that one was a piece of work. She could have just asked me for coin. Instead of trying to smash my skull right away. And then to leave me like this. Well now you know how it feels. I say that's the pot calling the kettle black. Listen, Henry, that thing with Hagen, I didn't want to, really. But they kept threatening me. And then they offered me coin. Jesus, Henry, I've never seen a pile of coin like that in my life. Kuno wouldn't give me as much as half a groschen for a cheap wench. Yeah, yeah, my heart bleeds. Enough. Tell me where I can find Hagen. Hagen? Lord Zul? Yeah, I'll tell you, Henry. We're still mates, right? Oh, I don't know if I'd go as far as mates, but let's just say I understand. I knew you and me would understand each other. So you'll let me go if I tell you. Let you go? That rock must have really scrambled your brains. Henry, I, I'm really sorry. I swear. Those fellas scared the wits out of me. I can believe that. Uh -huh. But why didn't you tell us about it? You didn't have to betray us. I don't know. I... I was confused. Please. Where are you? Let me go. First, tell me where Hagen is. And then we'll see. I won't say anything as long as I'm tied up. I know how that goes. I'll be left here for the crows. I know what you mean, Jakey. Kuno's no less of a bastard than that Hagen. They're all birds of a feather. Yeah, right? But why ride with them then? Because Kuno's on my side. I didn't pick him, and maybe Sir Radzig wouldn't have either if he had a choice. But one thing I know. If you don't tell me where Hagen is, more innocent people will suffer. Oh, I suppose you're right. Hagen's planning to raid some village. Samapesh, I think. He's gonna go there in person, hmm. along with what's left of his band. So in person. Are you gonna untie me now? Really? I'll untie you, all right, and take you where you belong. What? What are you saying? Where? To jail. But you can't. We had an agreement. We didn't agree on anything. To let you go. My conscience is clear. And I'm going to let you go of your binds. But then what happens next? Well, we didn't make any agreement on that, so... Should have chosen your words more carefully, friend. And also, you should count your blessings, because I was planning to gut you right where you stood. But, at the last minute, I... Well... I had a change of heart, let's just say. I decided that instead of... Ending your life right here and there... That I would see you suffer. For... Months, years, maybe even. Until you finally learn your lesson. And until you receive the exact punishment that is worthy 
of a treacherous, weaselly little snake like you. Your innocent victim act is not gonna. It's not gonna work on me. You saw money and you decided to take it. That's all there is. That's all there was to it. Nothing more. All right. Uh, back to Kuno, yeah? Or all right. Return to camp and uh, tell them that good day. Tell them what I've learned. What? Who said that? Did you call for me? Who called for me? Oh, you've returned, gentlemen. Kuna. Uh What's up, Kuno? It's about that accursed ring. What again? Oh yeah. Hi. I heard the fellas had you running around for them. You mustn't let them take advantage of you. Anyway, it's all gotten a bit out of hand. I wanted to raise morale, but instead I've got them at each other's throats. Yeah, true mm. enough. But what do you want me to do? I want you to get the ring from Petter and bring it to me. I can't just take it back, see? They lose their trust. Besides, Petter's hidden it somewhere. You won't be willing to give it up. Hmm. All right. But I hope this is the last time. I'll bring you the ring and the game's over. Don't worry. I've done with this game. In future, I'll just buy the fellas a drink now and again. Let them play their own games. Yeah. It's probably it's probably a better idea, yeah, sure. Hmm. Now where could the ring have been I'm not stopping you. Get on with it for fuck's sake. Jesus. Alright. So there was this pre Excuse me. I hate to interrupt uh, whatever this is. Look here, Petter. About the ring I gave you. Yeah? What about it? I need to have it back. Well, that's tough. And don't think you can pinch it from me. I've got it well hidden. Supposing I take it from you fairly. At dice, maybe? Ah, you know me too well, Henry. <laughs> Fine. We can play for it. As long as you can put up a decent wager. Alright. Fine. Let's play. That's what I like to hear. You're on. <clears throat> and may the best man win. But, I mean, let's be honest here. We all know that it's going to be me. Here we go. Let's see what, see what we've got here. Um... Nice. Now this is what I'm talking about. All right, all right. Not bad, not bad. Not a bad start. Now how about this? What do you think of that? Uh huh. I see. Mmm, three sixes. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, oh, you're really taking the risk, huh? Yeah. That was a good hand, man. You could have, could have just stopped right there. See, this, this is what you're supposed to do. Quit while you're ahead. Ok, 
acá. Ajá. Right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure, that's good, I guess. Um, here's what I got. Alright, appreciate it. Better luck next time, bub. Oh no, hold on. Don't get it. Uh, seriously? Want to sleep. Oh, will baby want to sleep? Fuck off. Now you're gonna have me wait, sleep for however long, just for you to wake up again. That's just great. Right. Wait until 11 and then go to sleep until however long we can sleep for. Until it, yeah, until eight, it's probably good. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, shit. Where's that damn ring? Hey! Someone must have pinched it. God damn. What the fuck is this? Are you kidding me? I can't even sleep here. It's not bad enough that I have to sleep on the ground. Someone's pinching the ring from me, too. Fuck off. Truly no one is outstanding without me, nor fortunate. I embrace all those whose hearts ask for me. He who goes without me goes about in the company of death, and he who bears me will remain lucky forever. But I stand lower than earth and higher than heaven. <laughs> lower than earth and higher than heaven. Fantastic. Uh, someone stole the ring from me. Do you know anything about it? Even if I knew where it was, I couldn't tell you. Well, whoever took the ring left some message in its place. Someone who knows how to write, here. Hmm, let me think. I know, it's you! <laughs> Uh, that is very funny. I'm dying from laughter right now. Har, 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 har. I can't stop laughing. The joke is so good. I can't stop laughing. It hurts. The laughter, it hurts. Please make it stop. The laughter hurts. Har, 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 har. Har, 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 har. Har. Ain't it fight? Dumbass. Uh, even if I knew. Well. Is everyone gonna give me the same canned response, really? You. you seem like a more sensible, rational, less retarded person. Uh. Oh my! Tut tut tut! Well, it could be any of us. Don't you know we all ran away from a monitor? They're the ones who are a pile of coins. That's why they want to get out of Bohemia. Telling you, Chief. 
One morning we'll. Uh. <laughs> well, could be any. <sighs> I'm this close from just pulling my sword out and hacking away at all of you cocksuckers. This is what I get for running around doing all this. Hickey for you. <sighs> I don't know what this means. I don't know what this. I don't know what this bullshit means. What is? What does it mean? What is? What? I. <clears throat> no one is outstanding without me, nor fortunate. I embrace all those whose hearts ask for me. He who... Oh. Maybe it's a shrine? Is there a shrine nearby? Maybe this shrine? That's something that has something to do with death and embracing and... It's closer to the ground, but... Lower than the sky or whatever. How far away is it? Couldn't be... Couldn't be there, could it? All the way over here? No, I doubt that. But, who knows, maybe. The fuck? No, no way. There's, there's no way. It's too far away. There's no way someone would have bothered to hide it all the way here. Unless there's another shrine that I haven't encountered yet. God damn it. <sighs> this is pathetic, fellas. This is really pathetic. Each one of you a grown-ass man. Acting like children. Should be ashamed of yourselves. Is there a shrine across from here? Nah. There ain't shit. Yeah. The hell? Where could it be? Some of you could talk, that is, and replacements for the bed. Someone stole that ring from me. You wouldn't happen to have any idea who? Mm hmm. Was it you? Mm hmm. What? And will you give it back to me? Mm -hmm. Why not? Ah, uh, let me guess. You want me to figure out the message on that paper? Mm hmm. All right, you're on. <sighs> Where did you learn to read and write? If the others could at least read a little, you could communicate with them. Ah, sure. I suppose it suits you fine this way, too. Mm-hmm. So, back to the riddle. Uh, I've forgotten most of it. Um, I'm below the earth, but above the sky, or whatever. Um, I don't know. Pain? Mm -mm. Will you give me another chance? Mm -hmm. Um. Wisdom? Mm -mm. Will you give me an? Mm -hmm. Humility? Mm -hmm. Ah. Yes. Hand it over then. Oh. 
He was with you the whole time? So, I guess I could have tried to nick it from you? Well, thanks for all that. Making me run around like a dumbass. Headless chicken? Yeah, sure, that was fun. Here it is. Here's your stupid ring. Oh, good. Finally, there'll be peace around here. And listen, I won't invite you for a drink, since it's not the right occasion. But I've got something special for you. I don't want to drink anyway. Finally. What is it? What is it? Hercules and his diet, four. I think it's a book that I've already read. Oh, no, never mind. Skill book on strength. What's my strength level? Um. Hmm. Looting corpses, you'll find more money. Increase your big fans of the same charisma level as you have. Nah. Eh. Okay. Uh. Oh. My strength is already at max. <sighs> max strength. Um. Well, never mind then. I guess that was all a big waste of time. <coughs> Thanks a bunch. Anyways. Let's get a move on, shall we? I found Jakey, and I know what Hagen is planning. Spit it out, then. Zul plans to raid Samapesh, and he wants to lead the attack himself. I see. And what about that treacherous little bastard? I took him to the Ratai jailhouse. What will happen to him? That's up to Sir Ragdick. Considering what he did, he'll be lucky to get out of it alive. I'm not so sure. Radzig always had a soft heart. He got me off the gallows after all. Saddle up now. We'll ride to Samapesh right away. All right. All right. There they are. I can see Zul's colors. It seems they want to parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? Right then. Let's parlay. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kobila. The thing is... Your quarrel with Lord Cobbler is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. And you, Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offence, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Cobbler concerns a higher ideal. Cobbler shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father raised our castle to the ground, gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Cobbler's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. If you accept my offer, on the other hand, you can ride away from here a rich man. 
What do you say, son? <clears throat> Kuno? Now, I know that you have more interest in money than loyalty, but... Kuno, you can't do it. Let's talk about this. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer. You're making the same mistake that Jakey did. Don't do it. Have you no honor at all? To sell yourself to the highest bidder? The only bidder. Radzig never offered me a grosh because you owe him a favor. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My conscience is clean. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno, what do you think makes a good mercenary? If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd sit all day on a golden throne drinking wine. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in warfare. Oh, that's how you see it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind isn't worth his salt. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. So if you don't mind, I'll take that pile of coin and fuck off. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they hear of this? With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things really stand. Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation of mercenary's honor? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of roses. Hmm. Are you threatening me? Call it what you like. Fine. It seems you have learned something after all. You'll stay then? Obviously. Well, it didn't seem so obvious to me. Come on now, Henry. Don't take offense. And let's go and deal with Hagen. It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back. Nor will it be the last. But then, he did save my neck from the noose. So I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you. But I will take your silver. <laughs> you would fight me? You're a damned fool. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favors. So be it. So it begins. Could have said it better myself. I'll uh I'll see you around, lads. Thanks for the assistance. Couldn't have done it without you. 
<clears throat> Father, I have news. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir, we got rid of Zul. Finally, some good news. Tell me all about it. We caught up with Hagen in the fields near Merhoyet, and there was a skirmish. It was a tough fight, but in the end, we were victorious. Hagen fell. Good. That's good news, Henry. Any losses on our side? Kuno's men? How did they fare? Some of Kuno's men fell, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Such is a mercenary's life. May they rest in peace. Anyway, you deserve a reward for your efforts. And thank you, Henry. Once again, I'm beholden to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Ah, thank you, sir. But I'm sure you'd have managed without me. <sighs> don't be so modest, lad. Since that catastrophe at Scalitz, I don't have many people left that I can rely on. Best go and rest now. Thank you, sir. Yes. Take care. Farewell. Uh, sir. <laughs>